coming to you live. This is the American Filipino, and I am testing out this new camera here to see how good it's going to work. Uh, looks very clear to me so far. I'm trying to see if the stabilization is going to be good and uh, the automatic focus that's been enabled on it also. It has a lock-in sensor too where whatever uh, basic view that is showing that you would like for it to show, light, dark, uh, you can lock it in on that, but right now I have it on auto because I want to see how good auto works. Because right now in the Philippines in Talisay Cebu, it's 6 o'clock p.m., so it's kind of dim here outside. And the camera here is kind of lighting up the, uh, the area. Looks pretty good so far. Looks pretty good. I advise all of my uh, vloggers and my camera users, if you're going to be in an area where your lighting is going to change uh, dramatically, you know, like light to dark, light to dark, um, it's better to have it fixed on a uh, what I call locked in set view so that it may stay light. Because if you notice when you have your camera set on auto, if the camera doesn't focus in fast enough, then, uh, you know, the lighting is going to stay dark and you don't want it to. Most of your cameras that basically focus in to brighten up areas that are dark in like seconds are going to be your very, very highly expensive uh, cameras. Uh, video digital camcorders uh, and your digital cameras. But uh, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, we're going out of the neighborhood now in uh, Carmelia Homes and we're going up to the main road here uh, in Talisay. And uh, for right now, everything looks good. Uh, the stabilization uh, seems to be okay. Uh, I really don't believe in editing a lot of my videos. I like everything to be natural. I like everything to be raw. And I like everything to be what I call wholesome, where nothing's really uh, added or taken away from my videos. But a lot of times, uh, you know, when you edit a video and, and it goes through the software program, it will clear up the stabilization if your uh, video is shaking too much. And uh, basically, that's what I use it for mainly. Uh, if I have different clips that I may video, I put all my clips together, but I don't change anything. I leave everything like it is, natural. I want my viewers to see everything as it is in the real. Uh, if I was a, a reporter, I would want to, what I call report, original news uh, not fake news that's what has our country in an uproar right now uh, in war uh, Israel Hamas and then you had Yemen that made an attack on Israel also with firing missiles but the US intercepted them we're in a bad time right now and, and I think everybody should pray because uh, you know the war can spread and right now it may not be affecting your area but you may be surprised. I mean, you know, it may affect your area in the long run. But uh, coming to you live, this is American Filipino, and we are here at the main road. American Filipino coming to you live. We're here at 7-Eleven, and this is one of my uh, my other hangout spots that I come to here. I get my uh, cold coffee. I sit down, I talk to people, vibe with people, bond with people, do videos, and... Uh, there's a lot of other people, this is where they also come. Uh, just wanted to share this with you. And also, tonight is Saturday here in the Philippines. Talisay, Cebu. Beautiful night. It's not raining. The night is clear. I had to wait until the loud uh, motorcycle go by, but I just wanted to share with you guys. Sounding off. American Filipino.
my favorite rice please this is my favorite store my favorite rice store yes sir yes yes thank you salamat Yes. You're doing okay today? Okay, Kayo? Okay, okay, okay. okay bro. If you work in the U.S. cooking, like at a restaurant on a grill like this, uh, minimum, minimum wage would be like 20 U.S. dollars an hour. So that would be that would be equivalent to 1k. 1k. 1k an hour. Yes. So you would make 8k a day. Looks good, right?
looks good, huh? Yeah. Look at that.